This bird is known as a willy wagtail. That's got nothing to do with this next video, but I thought you'd find him pretty cute. Let's look at what else you can do with list ag function. These are short two minute sessions designed to help you solve real problems, not just wander through the syntax. In this session, we're going to have a closer look at list ag, which we touched on in the last video. A quick recap on that last video. Over and over and over we've always said that it's the keyword over that defines the use of an analytic function. But then we turned that on its head in the last video when we saw the list ag function which used the keyword within group and it seemed to be a departure from that. It seems odd that every analytic seems to use over yet list ag would use within group. Well, to be honest, we lied a little bit. List ag Although it is an analytic tool, that is, it appears in the analytics section in the data warehousing guide, the within group clause isn't actually part of analytic SQL. In fact, the list ag function is entirely the function itself. All of the list ag components, the list ag, the within group, and the order by, actually are only the function component of this SQL. It's nothing to do with analytics. You can see on the screen there that that might suggest that maybe you could actually do an analytic on the list ag function. And yes, we actually can. To do that, let's revisit our planet data we used in one of the earlier videos. I'm creating a view called named moons, really just to join the planets and moons tables together to make it easier to query. Here's some sample data and you can see for each planet we've got the class of planet, whether it's a dwarf planet, an inner planet or superior planet, and the list of moons for each planet and also their radius. And here's the requirement that is coming. I need the smallest moon radius by planet and a list of the other minimal radii to compare it to. So let's use our normal list add function. You can see we're doing the list add of the radius within the group ordering by planet. So you can see the minimum radius, which has come out in line three, and that seems fine. But when we look at the members column, which is the list add result, it doesn't seem to be a list of the other minimal radii. It just seems to be a list of all the radiuses for each planet. That's not really what we were after. Consider back to one of the very earliest videos where we discussed the concept of reporting aggregation. That is, we get the same aggregate for each row in a partition. Now, if we want to compare each minimum radius to all the other minimum radiuses across rows, that's the same as a reporting aggregation. So here's our original query with just a standard list ag. We can actually add analytic syntax to list ag. I'm doing over partition by class. There's no order by within the over section of the analytic function, which means it's a reporting aggregation. So if we can see for each planet, we have the minimum radius, but the actual list ag result is a list ag of those minimum radiuses. It's a reporting aggregation across rows. You can run these queries yourself by clicking on the live SQL link below. So now we know that within group is actually not really an analytic function. That does suggest to us that maybe it is the case that over is the only keyword that defines an analytic. In the next session, we'll explore that concept. Maybe there are other keywords that still fall within the realms of analytics. Thanks very much for watching, and don't forget to keep it simple with SQL. We'll see you all again soon.